There's a question in law of crimes that is culpable homicide not amounting to murder. Culpable homicide is not murder if it is committed without premediation uh, in a sudden fight in the heat of passion upon a sudden quarrel and without the offenders having taken undue advantage or acted in a cruel or unusual manner. A very important question for exam it is what is committed culpable homicide not amounting to murder. Yes. Uh, life imprisonment, uh, culpable homicide not amounting to murder can result in a life imprisonment sentence. Imprisonment, imprisonment for a term that may extend for up to 30 years uh, and can also be liable for fines and uh, canning. Yeah, canning in some instances, canning can be an additional or alternative uh, punishment. Now, uh, what is, what is, uh, uh, when does culpable homicide not murder cases? So, yeah, exception to five, that is culpable homicide is not murder when the person whose death is caused being above the age of 18 years suffers death or takes the risk of death with his own consent by uh, instigation voluntarily causes that a person under the 18 years of age to commit suicide. Now, here when we talk about is culpable homicide not amounting to murder bailable? A punishment, imprisonment for 10 years or fine or both cognizable, non-bailable, triable by court of sessions, non-compoundable. So these are all non-compoundable offences. Section 304, punishment of for culpable homicide not amounting to murder. Section 304. Now what are the two types of culpable homicide? Very, very important question which can come for the exam. The first is what may be called culpable homicide of the first degree that is the gravest form of culpable homicide which is defined in section 300 and murder. The second may be termed as culpable homicide of the second degree. This is punishable under the first part of section 304, uh, section 304 IPC. Now murder versus culpable homicide. You have to prepare for the exam. What is the key difference? What is the key difference between murder versus culpable homicide? When we talk about uh, murder cases, in this case the Supreme Court of India, that is which case state of Andhra Pradesh versus Payarapu, that is provides a brief description of the difference between culpable homicide and murder. It states that in the scheme of the penal code, Indian penal code, culpable homicide is genus and murder it is species. All murder is culpable homicide but not all murders are, uh, all culpable homicides are murder. Speaking generally, culpable homicide sans special characteristics of murder. Culpable homicide not amounting to murder. That is for the purpose of fixing punishment proportionate for the gravity of this generic offense. The code practically recognizes three degree of culpable homicide. The first is what may be called, what may be called uh, culpable homicide. What may be called uh, culpable homicide of the first degree, this is the gravest form of culpable homicide which is defined in section 300 as murder. The second may be termed as culpable homicide of the second degree, this is punishable under the first part of the section 304. Then there is culpable homicide of the third degree, this is the uh, lowest type of culpable homicide and the punishment provided for it is also the lowest among the punishment provided for the three grades that is culpable homicide of this degree is punishable under the second part of section 304 so km nanavati versus state of maharashtra very important you have to read it for the exam the nanavati murder case so uh, during the proceeding of this case the supreme court of india extensively discussed the law related to provocation in india uh, please prepare the nanavati case and go properly so this is observed that uh, the test of grave and sudden provocation is whether a reasonable man belonging to the same class of society as the accused placed in the situation in which the accused was placed would be so provoked as to lose his self-control. So in India, words and gestures may also under the certain circumstances cause grave and sudden provocation to uh, the accused so as to bring his act within the first so exception to section 300 of the Indian Penal Code, the, the mental background created by the previous act of the victim may be taken into consideration in ascertaining. 
uh, whether the the grieven the graveness of the act, the fatal blow should be clearly traced to the influence of passion arising from the provocation, and not after the passion had cooled down by lapse of time, or otherwise giving room for scope of premeditation and calculation. So, uh, very very important is the Nanavati case.